Well, I did Wimbledon every year for 10 years in a row. Mm. I did the control for it, not the London, but the control was more difficult than the London. Why is that? Well, because they would, it would be, first of all, six hours on the air. They were the same in London, they were six hours on the air because I was taking them live. But the sales department would sell it so that they would oversell it to make revenue, but they weren't, were only permitted to do one minute commercials during the live event. So when the live event would end, especially if it would end early, they would have a ton of commercials that were, were sold that had to air. So you would air those by playing retapes and they were always complicated because they'd be edited in England, they'd be sent to us, I'd have five, six machines down there with a guy we called the Axe Murderer who was an AD that was so grumpy and, and we always referred to him as the Axe Murderer. And uh, he was like, he was in charge of taking the feeds and he would assign the machines to me and then I would roll them. And we used to fight too because he would set cues that I didn't like, I'd change the cues and he'd yell at me about changing the cues. And, it was difficult because you, you would be told, you'd do a commercial and then you'd be told what the following would be and you wouldn't be able to get it all together before they'd be ready to give you the roll cue to roll. So you were always scrambling like, you know, and you're telling a guy in a car machine, you know, give me position 15D, 8A, or 9B, and, and the guy would have to do that, like go get 9A, 9B, put them all together as an island and you hope you'd get it in time because you the segment go. that you, you'd be coming to an end and you had to go somewhere. So that kind of stuff, was like a pain in the, in the neck. But, but Wimbledon, uh, it was a fun, fun show to do and you were on the air for a long time, for six hours straight actually. Wow. You didn't even get up to go to the boys room. How do you personally like, I mean, are you happy in <laughs> that kind of a schedule? I mean, is, are you kind of just go, 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 go kind of a guy? You don't need breaks, well, you, you don't you need would, a, you, the, just the The live. energy would be good and you, you, you'd like to get it, a lot of it was hairy, you know, and if you pulled it off, there was a certain satisfaction to it. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't, a, you know, anything complex or anything like that, but you, you, had, to, you had to be on top of it. And if you weren't, you'd have outages on the end, you'd have to answer for it. But, mm. right. but they pretty much went well. They had good people on the other side, good ADs that, you know, they were New York ADs that were sent there. Mm -hmm. So I knew them and, you know, you, 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 you got a lot of support from them. If you didn't quite understand something, they'd explain it. And they'd give you all the details about cross rolls and stuff. And then the axe murderer would, would, well, cross rolls are when you roll a certain segment, but they might want to take a lead in or, a, or a, a conclusion of it from another piece of tape. So they send you two pieces of tape, and then you have to cross roll from one tape to the other to get the, 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 the right ending, you know.